Farmer. Above and beyond, daycare workers say the child care facility had been operating well below state guidelines. They contacted the Mississippi State Department of Health and investigations into their complaints began. I first contacted owner John Blair in late February after workers told me they were never paid. A lot of complaints from a lot of your employees that worked here and they say that they haven't been paid. Checks have bounced. Yeah, that's not true. So what can Checks I haven't bounced? No. There's also complaints about the fact that the kids aren't properly uh, taken care of. Is that true? No, it's not true. We wouldn't be in business, retard. Can you please leave the premises? Later that spring, Blair paid a fine to the Mississippi State Department of Health for not meeting state guidelines and her facility remained open. In the following months, the Department of Health did surprise inspections to determine if corrections were being made to meet state regulations. In August, I met with more farmer workers who told me a limited staff had to handle too many youngsters. One farmer worker told me she had to watch 27 youngsters by herself. She filed a complaint with the Department of Health. In September, some farmer workers held a protest determined to get the word out about what they called unsafe conditions inside above and beyond daycare center. After numerous inspections, the Mississippi State Department of Health Communications Director, Liz Shala told me that above and beyond daycare owner, John Blair has now entered into a consent agreement in which she will have no interest in any child care facilities in the state of Mississippi. According to the Department of Health, Blair is to divest herself of any interest in above and beyond daycare. She will also pay $800 in outstanding monetary penalties. She has 30 days to pay that. The daycare facility is no longer called above and beyond. The new name is Kids Quest, and the daycare center is in the process of being sold to a new owner. Once the monetary penalty has been paid, the Department of Health will process the change of ownership. If Blair violates the consent agreement, the Department of Health will revoke the license of Above and Beyond, which is now called Kids Quest. Action reporter, A.J. Jordina, WLOX News.